What is up, Travel Battles? We are yet again on another adventure. We are still here in Texas, though. We made our way down to Houston, Texas, where we are here to see the Jurassic World, the exhibition, and Katie Mills. So this is only the second day it's been open here in Houston. And this seems like such a great experience for families, for young children, older kids. So this is a traveling exhibit where they pack everything up and they move from town to town. So far they've had locations in Atlanta, in Denver, in San Diego, even some abroad. And now they've made their way to Houston, Texas, where we're finally able to see it ourselves. So this is actually one of the fastest selling exhibits since its launch. And I think that has a lot to do with the franchise itself. Jurassic World and Jurassic Park are such a great franchise. And they bring the dinosaurs to life to you. So I think that's really cool. Ticket prices, they vary by day to day and by time frame. So obviously your more peak hours and peak days are going to be more expensive. And it ranges from about $24 for children and $32 for adults. And then they also have specialty ticketed uh, prices for like military and senior citizens. So definitely check out which best prices for you. We're super ecstatic. We don't, unfortunately we don't have Universal nearby and it's not realistic to keep going there. It's not cost effective. But these little pop-up events, there's just so many things going on around the world. Uh, you just gotta look for it. And this is something that we're so freaking ecstatic for. We're so freaking excited. Um, I heard that the animatronics are like top tier, like pretty freaking scary. We're gonna bring it to you and see if that's true or that's just false. So let's go to Isla Nubar. So let's get this done. Oh, and I forgot to mention we weren't invited out. So regardless, it's gonna be our honest opinion and review. So, or honest review, not really. Opinion. Well, opinion too, right? So opinion and review. Entering the ferry. Dara, when dinosaurs ruled the world. So when they opened the uh, the doors to uh, Isla Nubar and we saw the the gate Brontosaurus the Brachiosaurus. Brachiosaurus yeah oh my gosh man like that's what greets you when you walk in and I'm telling you even just getting on the ferry to get to Isla Nubar it felt like you're at Universal like the attention to detail just it felt so real it was well done but this was just right <laughs> what oh the height the height's just oh. right. <laughs> Oh my gosh! You did? right over here. They are still pretty young, so we ask that you please do not knock or touch on the glass. But when they grow up, we will release them back into the park to reunite with their siblings. They're breathing. If you need help taking any family photos, or if you have any additional questions, please let me know. They look like the giant mosquitoes that we've been finding in our <laughs> outside of our house. All right, everyone, are we ready? Yeah. Are we ready? Yeah. All right, guys, let's say hello to our baby dinosaur and her handlers. You can't pick it up. She's gonna punch it. Don't punch the poop, that's gross. <laughs> Try it. 
Ew, I mean, it feels like picking up the dog too. It's a baby triceratops! That's cool. That one's the raptor. The big one's the brachiosaurus. That one. What's the little, little one? The little, little one is probably... Did anyone here get a chance to find all six baby dinosaurs here? The stigma. <laughs> this is the, the already the the dinosaur that's in that egg, right? Yeah. <laughs> okay, that's so cool. <laughs> Oh, it brings me back. <laughs> I miss Universal. Also missing in Universal? Yeah. yeah. So unfortunately the finale scene doesn't seem to be running right now. The Indominus Rex is what I believe is back there. She's giving them a little difficulty. She's trying to escape the paddock or whatever. So I hear a little growling. They're working on her right now, trying to see if they can get her up and running. But they say we can leave and just walk around if we want or just leave the whole premises and then use our same tickets to come back in order to see her. So that's sad because this is a finale scene. But overall, I think this is a really good exhibit. It would just be nice to see the finale one. All right, so you can vaguely see like the outline because it's so dark, but I don't want to be disrespectful and turn on the, the uh, flashlight on the camera. So I'm just going to leave it kind of ominous. If you can barely, I'm going to put it on the screen, but I don't know if you can really see it but it's just like the outline in the shadow and it looks terrifying. So I'm a little bummed that it's down, but I mean, the staff is nice. They're like, just come back anytime today, just show them the ticket and hopefully fingers crossed. We don't know yet. Hopefully she cooperates. You know what I mean? Cause if not, I'm gonna feed Aaliyah to it. Cause <laughs> this is ridiculous. What are you doing? He's gonna grab your leg. Oh, <laughs> that's what he's gonna do. He's gonna grab her leg and swing her around like that. Oh, it might be the um, T-Rex then. Let's go see what's in the store. I was going to say, can you imagine being the person back there trying to work on the uh, 
T-Rex or the Dominus Rex or whatever's back there. Yeah, I would be scared because it's, I mean, we were saying earlier, imagine like these pieces just being in the, laying on the ground and you just don't, you're unaware of the situation and you walk up on a T-Rex ginormous head the size of your body. <laughs> That's scary. It's terrifying. Or it comes, or like it starts to work and then it starts moving around oh and thrashing gosh. about. Oh my gosh, that's scary. Like you're just, you're working on it and all of a sudden it starts moving. Oh my yeah. no. Danger, high voltage, 10,000 volts. The one that literally isn't working. Yeah. <laughs> it's bumpy. Yep. Look at the little luggage tags. How cute How is much this? Is that? $8. $8, damn. That's cute. You put your name on it. How much is that? Nine bucks. Nine. Yes, it's one of those like false liquids. It makes it look yeah. like there's something in there. Or I think you put it in the freezer and that freezes and it keeps your drink cold. Ooh, $15. That's a magnet? Yeah. How I much mean, is that? This is eight bucks. Eight bucks, wow. Look at a little hoodie, Brianna. $58. Do you take a universal annual pass holder? <laughs> How much is that? 26. So it's like a magnet, it just sits on your shoulder? It's a magnet, it just sits on your shoulder like... It's all... I guess no one else is worried but us. Look at Zyna, go! Zyna should go, Zyna should go. Brianna, that might be it. Is it a VIP entrance? Yeah. Backstage. <laughs> No, I think it's here. Can you see the outline? <laughs> the Thomas Rex is the hybrid dinosaur that can camouflage into the trees and foliage. That means you can be out there right now looking at you and you wouldn't even see her. Alright, everybody is going to be meeting for us. She's going to be very hungry and maybe a bit wrecked up with her meal. So please, no back and talk to me, no sudden movements, and no loud noises to distract her from enjoying her dinner. shop and we started hearing the rumbling and the noise and we're like okay I think it's back up they walked us back through we got to kind of go the back way we got to go backwards and we got to go back in there and see it so we didn't even have to leave and they got it up and running that was cool that was the best way to finish this whole exhibit <laughs> Oh, God, the sound is in fact a breach that I need to see.
I thought it was over. I thought it was too. Wow. Okay, so we thought it was over just by after seeing the Domino's Rex. No. They said stick with the next group and we couldn't even leave. It was all blocked off. And then the T-Rex comes out. Like that was the big thing you were seeing, the silhouette you were seeing behind the chain link fence. I'm I'm blown away. Like literally, this is one of the best like traveling events I think we've ever been to. This is insane. Yeah, so uh, we thought was ending with the Adominus Rex, and don't get it wrong, don't get it twisted. Uh, the T-Rex reigns king, and he made it known, or she, I don't know, it made it known that uh, it reigns king. So it's a good way to end it. This is freaking awesome. Um, I was a little bit like, kind of disappointed towards the end. I'm like, oh, okay, that's it. We get to the, what is it? the the gyrosphere. Mm -hmm. We get to the gyrosphere and that's it. No, once they got everything going, <laughs> it, it got pretty freaking intense. And wow, this event is really good. It's really good. Um, I'm gonna go out and say it. I say five out of five. What do you say? Oh, clearly five out of five. Five out of five. Only thing that would even top it is if they had like a cafe with like oh, with food? Jurassic World food. I mean, I know that's much harder with a traveling thing, but. I hear it going on like, again. But the uh, animatronics were really good. Amazing. Really like, good. And the staff, Phenomenal. so amazing. They were yeah, nice. Every, so nice. Everything here, well done. What do you rate this? Five out of five? Really? Five out of five? Uh, yeah. It was really good. What was your favorite? The Dominus Rex or the T Rex? The Dominus. The Dominus? That was your favorite one? I like the T Rex. Me too. Yeah. The favorite was Bumpy. Oh, you like bumpy? Bad Yeah. Okay, guys, so we finally finished the whole exhibition and we even popped into the little gift shop that they have, which is all really quality looking stuff. That stuff that you will find at Universal at that. Um, they have where you take a photo when you first walk in and everyone takes a photo. It doesn't matter. You don't have to purchase them, but everyone takes a photo and they give you a little code. In the gift shop, you can purchase it. So the whole time I've been trying to purchase it online on my phone just by scanning the QR code and it wouldn't work. But we decided, okay, we're at least gonna buy a photo in case we can't get the online. It gives you the option to buy the digital package with your photo. And so we got all the digital photos which we'll pop in here and show you guys. Overall, this event is amazing. I really had fun. It brought out my inner child, so. It's not just for kids, it's for the kid in everyone. Um, definitely a must see. So if you can't make it out to the one here in Houston, check and see where it's gonna be on the map next and try to make it for sure. All right guys, thank you so much for following along. If you like this content and wanna see more of our content, which I feel like we have a lot of crazy stuff coming up here soon that we're anxious to let you all know, be sure to like this video and 
subscribe as well so you don't miss any of our other upcoming battles. Yeah, so this was fun. This is awesome. I'd, I would probably do it again if we lived closer. Um, without a doubt, I'd say this is a five out of five event, like we said, so it does get the badge of honor. I'm excited and I don't know, I kind of have like a, a dinosaur appetite now. <laughs> you too? Yeah. So thank you guys for watching and uh, see you on the next one. Bye. Bye.